let's solve some inequalities. We're going to be solving each of these examples and expressing them in three different ways. That's so going to be set builder notation, a graph on the number line, and as an interval. I'm Angie. Let's go ahead and start with 2x plus 1 is greater than 5. Now, almost all of our tools that we use for equations applies to inequalities. And every one that we've learned is going to apply to this one. We'll see a special rule in the next example. That means that I really want to start by adding or subtracting to get x's on one side and numbers on the other. So I can leave the 2x where it is, but I need to subtract the 1 from both sides. That's going to give me a 2x. The 1s go away, and I've got 5 minus 1, which is 4 on the other side. Now I've got a 2 times x, so we're going to divide both sides by 2, and we get x is greater than 2. Now this is my inequality, but it means that anything bigger than 2, infinitely many solutions, are going to work in this inequality. I want to go ahead and start by expressing this in set builder notation. Infinitely many works really well as a set. This is my favorite way because it's super easy. I'm actually just going to drop it around my answer. So it's going to be the set bracket, the set of all x's, and the vertical line means such that. And I'm just going to drop my inequality right into my set x is greater than 2. So that's all we need to do for set builder notation. Next, let's do a graph on the number line. Now there's two different ways to express this, the very same thing. But let me go ahead and give you both ways so that it's going to work for whatever you're doing in your class. Now we want everything greater than 2. So how about if I put 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, same thing. So I want a graph of all of these solutions. Now the solutions don't include 2. It's got to be a little bit greater than 2. So I'm going to use an open circle so that I'm not including 2, but I'm going to use an arrow pointing to everything bigger. Now in the other form, since we're not including 2, we're going to use a parenthesis. If we were including 2, we would use a square bracket there. But we're not including 2, so we're going to open it with a parenthesis and then an arrow for everything greater. Next, we've got interval notation. And for interval notation, I need my lowest value, comma, my highest value. Let's go over here. My lowest value is 2. And my highest value, well, it goes on forever, so that's going to be infinity. So I can write 2, comma, infinity. But I'm going to go ahead and use either parentheses or those square brackets to open and close my interval. Now this notation is really nice over here because I can copy what I did. I used a parenthesis on the 2 because I'm not including it. And the infinity also doesn't get included because it's not a stopping place. It goes on forever. So I'm going to use a parenthesis to close that one. Now in this example, we are going to see that special rule for inequalities, but it's not going to show up until we multiply or divide. I do want to start by adding and subtracting to get x's on one side and numbers on the other. So that means that that 3x can stay, but I'm going to add the 1 to both sides, and I get 3x greater than or equal to 5x, 5 plus 1 is 6. Next, I need to move the 5x over to the x side. So I'm going to subtract it since it's positive. And I end up with negative 2x is greater than or equal to a 6. Now in this next step, I need to divide by that negative 2. This is our special rule. Whenever we multiply or divide by a negative, the negative sign means opposite. So I need to do the opposite of my inequality symbol 2. I'm going to reverse it. So I'm going to divide by a negative 2. I'm going to reverse my symbol and divide that 6 also by a negative 2. So we end up with x now less than or equal to a negative 3. Let's go ahead and put this one into set builder. So easy to do. The set of all x's such that x is less than or equal to negative 3. I can also put this one onto the number line. Now for this one, I want everything less than or equal to negative 3. And let's go ahead and put 0 here. 1, 2, this is going to be a negative 3. 
and so on. Okay, now this time I am less than or equal to, I've got that little line underneath. So I'm including negative three in my solutions. So I could do a closed circle that includes negative three and everything less. That would be the first way to do it. If instead you're using the other notation, I'm gonna use a square bracket that opens to all of the solutions. So I wanna point it towards the other solutions and then this. Okay, finally, I want uh, interval notation, low comma high. This time my lowest value, it goes on forever. So it's gonna be negative infinity. And my highest value is that negative three. So comma negative three, I'm gonna match that square bracket to close my interval. To open my interval, I've got an infinity there. So I wanna go ahead and open it with a parenthesis. This next one has two inequality symbols in it, which means it's a combined or a continued inequality. But we're gonna work this the same way. Whatever I do to one side, I need to do to all three sides. So as I'm working this one through, I really want X's this time in the middle and then numbers on either side. So I can go ahead and start by moving that negative one. I'm gonna add it to all three sides. That gives me six is less than three X is less than or equal to a nine. Next, I wanna divide everybody by a three. It's positive, so I don't need to worry about reversing those symbols. And I end up with six divided by three, which is two less than those threes cancel. I get an X less than or equal to a three. Let's go ahead and express our solutions. I'm going to do set builder because it's so darn easy. The set of all X's such that, and then close that with a set bracket. Let's also put this on the number line. I'm just going to use the notation with the parenthesis and the square brackets, but you could definitely use the circles open and closed. I just need from two to three. So let's put a zero here. One, two, three, four. Now at two, it is not included. I do want everything in the middle. It's not included, so I would use a parenthesis or you could use an open circle. At three, because it's less than or equal to, it is included. So I want a square bracket or you could do a closed circle everything in between. Now this makes it super nice for our interval notation, low comma high. My lowest value is two, my highest value is three, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up those symbols from my graph. I'm gonna open it with a parenthesis since two isn't included, close it with a square bracket since three is included. You guys are doing fantastic. Next, we're going to take a look at absolute value inequalities. Thanks so much for watching.